Guys, my name is Hiran and today we're going to be talking about Amazon's Echo Dot. What's up guys? So it's quarantine time and everyone is trying to find a way of entertainment. So there have been a really substantial increase in the sale of games and the number of people playing games in the few months after the quarantine. Gaming isn't the only thing that people use to be entertained. Gaming isn't for everyone. There are some people who love to hear music. So this is Echo Dot. What is Echo Dot actually? Well, Echo Dot is a small speaker device that is created by Amazon. It runs on the artificial intelligence known as Alexa, which is also created by Amazon Technologies. You would have seen more devices like this. For example, Google Home, Apple HomePod, which is controlled by Siri. So Echo Dot is not the actual standard version. The Echo Dot is a miniature version of the standard Echo device. But if you want to start big or you already have an Echo device, you can build an ecosystem with the following devices. The Echo, the standard version, the Echo Dot, which we have here, the Echo Show, the Echo Plus, the Echo Studio, and there are many bunch of other devices like the Fire TV Stick, the Echo Glow, the Echo Flex, the Echo Earbuds, the Echo Input that can be connected to the Echo Dot. The Echo Dot is the cheapest version available in the Echo devices, but there is even more cheaper version than the Echo Dot 3rd gen. That is the Echo Dot 1st gen. It is a thousand dollars, a thousand rupees cheaper. I really don't think I would recommend the first generation instead of the third gen, even if you're buying it for the first time, because the third gen is way, way better in sound quality. Just to show you the difference between these two devices, I'll just show you a demonstration. So it's not just the sound, sometimes the Echo Dot is way more responsive on the third generation because it has four mics instead of just one compared to the first generation. Well, that's probably it, but sound quality is everything. So I recommend buying the third gen. Talking about the design of the Echo Dot, the Echo Dot is kind of a cylindrical device which has the speaker around it and four buttons about. One of it activates Alexa. The other two are sound buttons, you can increase or decrease it. And the other one you can use to mute Alexa so that she doesn't hear anything. And on the underside there's a rubber pad which is helpful so that the Alexa doesn't slide on its place. Just in case you want to know the size of the Echo device, it's 43mm by 99mm by 99mm. It has a 40.3 size speaker and it weighs around 300 grams. So, there's a light bar around the Echo Dot which turns on whenever Alexa activates. There's a small feature on the third generation of Echo Dot where the light bar around it becomes dim when you're in a dim light condition and it becomes really bright when you're in a bright room or in the sunlight. The setting up of the Echo Dot device is fairly simple. Every single instruction is given in the Alexa app. So this is what the Alexa app looks like. You can easily set up your device on this app. If you decide to buy another new device, you can add it from here. The Alexa app is a really useful one. You can actually change the audio, you can remotely play music on, on your device, you can change the network, you can pair Bluetooth devices, change the speaker, you can connect a stereo pair or a subwoofer, connect an echo remote, or pair an Alexa gadget of any kind. You can also access the equalizer on the application where you can change the sound of the echo device, you can boost the bass or change the travel or anything like that. If you buy an Echo Dot device, what are the advantages you get? First one is, of course, you can play music on your device. You can get access to any music that you want. So, do you really need the Echo Dot device? Well, that depends on you. If you are a frequent buyer from Amazon, if you love hearing music, and most importantly, if you have a Prime account, then the Echo device is something you might want to consider. The Prime members are able to fully utilize the capabilities of the Echo Dot device. For example, the first thing is that people who have Prime accounts have instant access to all Prime musics 
available on Amazon. The Echo Dot device can play any playlist on the Amazon Music. You can create any playlist you want. You can make a playlist and add songs that you like. That cannot be done if you don't have a Prime account. If you have an Echo Dot device, you can ask Alexa to buy something like, I want to buy a OnePlus 7 Pro. Based on your order history, I found OnePlus 7T Pro Haze Blue. To purchase, say order it now. If you have an Echo Dot device, you can get exclusive deals on certain products. What are my deals? Here are your top Amazon offers. Wesley Rhythm 15.6 inch. If you are a frequent buyer from Amazon, you can ask Alexa, where's my stuff? Alexa will reply by saying when your packages will arrive. Now, there are some gimmicky features available on Alexa like you can ask Alexa to sing a song, tell you a story, or just play some kind of game like Akinator. Good day, I'm Alexa and I'm here for fun. Got fiction and predictions and I'm killer with a pun. I'm the speaker of the house, the best gesture of all time. Knock knock, who's there? It's me with the punchline. Also, if you feel like watching a movie, you can ask Alexa. If you have a Fire TV stick, Alexa will start playing that movie on your TV using the Fire TV stick. The Echo Dot device doesn't capture sound from far very well. If you don't have an Echo Dot device or any Echo device near you, you can use a device called the Echo Input, which you can carry on your pocket. It is a voice input which you can use so that you can talk to the Alexa from a distant space. Basically, the Echo has a really good ecosystem around it. If you have money to spare, you may want to build something like that, but it's your choice. Now, the Echo isn't really perfect and the Alexa is still improving to understand various other languages and various accents. If you are from a different country and want to hear your native songs, for example, in my case, which is Hindi, if you try to ask Alexa to sing a Hindi song, sometimes she doesn't understand anything at all and sings some other English song. Another big drawback in current to me is that the Echo device actually needs to be connected to electricity. It needs to be connected to the socket or it won't work at all. It's a big problem because you cannot use the echo device while traveling. You cannot take it to another room. If you want to keep it in a very creative place like on the wall or something like that, you really can't because it needs to be connected to the socket. So that is for this video guys. That was my simple and honest review of the Echo Dot device. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.